Tisha Gary Queen L Eats. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And this is Tweezy Flex. And today, y'all, today we had to throw something quick together. <laughs> we was just hungry, y'all. Yes. So I made me a turkey ouch, sausage, smoked mm. sausage, some uh, baked beans, and some cilantro lime rice. What you got, Tweezy? I got some ground sirloin, ground beef, uh, some jasmine rice, vegetarian beans. She got the vegetarian beans also. All right, let's say our prayer and get it in. Heavenly Father, bless over this food. Let it be nourishment to our bodies. Bless over the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? What's going on, everybody? We hope good. We got some funny mm, stuff to talk about today. Funny, funny, funny. You want that water? You want that that ginger ale I put beside you? You don't want that ginger ale. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. It's just something about beans. And sausage. They always go good together. Smoked sausage and always. beans. Always. Always. And rice. You always got a combination with beans and rice and sausage. A couple of them off. Quick. Easy to put together. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. What's on your mind, Queen Ed? Sisters. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Sisters. We ain't talking about sisters yet. We ain't talking about sisters yet. I am glad that we finally able to see Sabrina. The guy who rocking the fro. Mm hmm. I'm glad, terrified. I'm glad Danny, I ain't get in trouble behind that dude. Yeah, but he already, he's still stalking her. And showed up to the job just sitting there. That's bold right there. Yeah, but he was waiting on his son to get out the plane. Mm-hmm. That's bold. Mm-hmm. I would say, you want to go back into the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, do you think you need to go back to the hospital? I'd find another way to put you in there. Keep on. Yeah, so apparently now, so came to find out that he has a history of domestic violence on beating on women. Uh -huh. So that's the only reason why he didn't go to the police. Mm -hmm. So you already know what the deal is or whatever. So good ain't bad for her. Mm -hmm. Good for her. Like, like she said, she ain't going to jail. Mm -hmm. Ain't got to go through no court cases. But bad for her because he's still alive. And we don't know what he's capable of. Oh, he's gonna try to come back mm -hmm. or anything. She know he know where she stay. Mm -hmm. She didn't call the cowboy back after that. Cowboy and came, see her. And she's still acting crazy. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> she well, she was honest. I don't know what I want. <laughs> she was honest. A lot of people don't. You gotta be, hey, if you don't, you gotta be straight up and say it from the jump. I don't know what I want. I like you, I like your energy, I like your vibe. You got good traits, but I don't know. Let's see how this thing play out. But at the same time, you can't blame somebody for walking away either. Nope. Because a lot of people ain't got time for you to figure out what you want, mm -mm. and they miss out on something good for somebody who unsure. Sabrina found out why she in prison. Because she didn't know the whole time she was up in there. Wow. She didn't know why she was in Which Okay, I know it's TV, but sometimes I bring realism into TV. How you not know all this time? Yeah. That you don't know why you you just sitting in there. No, you're going to have to tell me. Y'all going to tell so, me something. Excuse me. So, she done found out what it is. That uh, apparently there's a recording with her and Maurice on the phone admitting that they did it. I'm ready to hear this recording on how they twisted the words because I don't remember... Him saying even him. talking about it or or whatever, so I want to see how that plays out. Um, so she want Andy to find Maurice or whatever and see what's going on with him. Uh, they didn't show Maurice last episode. They though. haven't shown. They didn't show Maurice yet. So waiting on that. Waiting on Maurice uh to pop up. Mm hmm. Hey. 
his remember he was talking to the dude in his kitchen and he was being sarcastic. Yeah. And his sarcasm is what got them. Mm-hmm. Cause you you don't be sarcastic with that kind of stuff though. But I mean, you don't know that somebody's yeah, setting you up either. Fuck the hell charges. But yeah, Andy is madly in love with what's his name? Gary. She playing with them saying he was gonna sue me. She won't Gary, okay? And that's what she won't. Wow. <laughs> Did you break? It's still almost it's snapping. <laughs> Sabrina found out Calvin, Calvin was going to give her $20,000 toward helping her get on, out on bond. That's big. That is major for somebody to do that for you. I mean, they love you. Yep. Sneaky cut that with that rich dude. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. The Nigerian man. Need to be calling him first. Why they don't want Sabrina Mama to find out again? Because she's older. Oh. Yeah, so she won't put that stress on her heart. Well, yeah. I guess not. Your child will go from a bank manager to... Why well, don't you go out to speak to your mom though? I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be on the news? <laughs> you think so? I'll just be on the news. <laughs> what? Just TV. <laughs> mm. This is good. Simple. Yeah, I've been working out every day. On the stairs every day. Get me in. I've been doing the darn thing, y'all. My eye, my eye watch. Been telling me good work. <laughs> she been closing her rings up. Mm-hmm. Closing the rings on the watch. My move goes. I'm like, oh my goodness, go girl. Who I ain't talked about yet? Mm. Robin, um, he won't. He trying to help Andy out. He trying to help out. He want her to know that he's sorry. But he trying, but he, he keeps saying like, this is a little bit different from me helping you with Zach, these federal charges. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's still trying though. Uh, Zach. Uh, the stripper, uh, talking with um, Hayden, mm-hmm. about to sue Zach or whatever. Uh, so you got that going on with that. Um, for, so now Fatima doesn't want to get engaged right now because the state of Georgia, if you get married, you got to share each other's debt. She don't want that on her or whatever. So Zach hurt about that, but mm-hmm. you got to be understanding though. Just get this out of the way, clear it out of the way, whatever. I hope it come back that it wins that baby. Yeah, it, I mm-hmm. hope I hope is I hope they, they play a little game on them. Mm-hmm. That they got a fake test and act like Well he a Hayden. Yeah. I, and her. Mm-hmm. Because a high Hayden know what the test say that quick. Mm-hmm. Or I might not even be her involved, might just be him. Mm-hmm. So she she might be tricked too in thinking that it's ex. Yep. Even though you know she wanted to be here. So I hope Karen baby ain't here. <laughs> I hope that stripper baby ain't here. I really want Zach. <laughs> to just be happy and be with Fatima. <laughs> That's what I want. It already seemed like he didn't have a rough life with his daddy and his mama the way they portraying it. 
Like his mama got over on him a lot and his brother coming over seemed like to get over on him. So it's like, it's like he really needs some relief. I think... Um, I think Karen gonna have a miscarriage. You think so? I'm go ahead and predict him. I'm predicting that Karen's gonna have a miscarriage. You know what? I think I'm, I'm predicting that... At first, I was predicting that it's going to be the, the pastor, accountant, baby. But now, I'm predicting that it's Zach's baby, but she's going to have a miscarriage. Yeah. That's what I'm predicting. Yeah. And I'm excited to see the week. Excuse me, the weeks. You know how she got to go get the ultrasound? I go to the, yeah, I go to the doctor, match the weeks up. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to see that. And I want, I want Zach to chill out on the preacher man. Mm -hmm. Like, he got no reason to be acting like that towards him. Exactly. The only reason why somebody would act like that toward another person, you still got feelings, you still got feelings for that person. Like he should be that way towards you, because you can win. No, he trying, he trying to build something with Karen, and y'all two end up having sex again. So if anybody should feel some kind of way, it should be the preacher. Exactly. And you saying how you don't want her and all yeah, that, and he do want her. Yeah. You got, like, why you acting like that for? And then plus two, if it is your child, and and nine times out of ten you're gonna be around Karen, you need to get on good terms with him. And that's what he trying to say. I mean, look, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good to both of them, regardless. So it, it is good to be on good terms. It's good when a a kid or baby have a whole. Peaceful setting with all the people in their life. Mm -hmm. Peaceful. If they got to be in their life, it's good for it to be peaceful. They all that this right here back and forth and all that all the time. That's just too much. And wondering why the kid about crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they seeing craziness. Yes. Mm. That was good. That was good. Woo! All right, y'all. We hope y'all are being safe out there. We hope y'all done got what y'all needed to get. Instead of trying to wait all the way tonight to go and try to hurry and find something, y'all want to wait to Mary's water break before you want to go and get a gift. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we waited all the way to now. But yeah, y'all, I hope that y'all being careful out there. I hope y'all loving on each other. I hope y'all loving on your kids. I hope you ain't breaking your neck trying to get in debt for this one time of year. I hope you reminding your kids of why, what's the real reason for the season. And I hope y'all going to the Q&T Vlogs channel and checking us out. That's what we hope. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, we want y'all to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload our newest videos. Peace out.